So this is speed of sound and I'm gonna strike the tuning fork 256 and we should be in the neighborhood of 30 centimeters so go ahead and lift it. Okay, I didn't hear it. Let's try it again. Okay, go down. There, right? About 32? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Thirty-two, right? Okay, so thirty-two centimeters is the depth plus the one centimeter that I hold it above here, so it's gonna be thirty-three centimeters. And that's a quarter wavelength, so later on for the wavelength that's gonna be multiplied by four. Okay, that was the two hundred and fifty-six. 32 centimeters depth plus the one centimeter. Now I'm going to use the 384. It should be somewhere around here. Hold on. Actually, probably somewhere around here. How much? 21 and a half. 21, yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Be a little bit above, but there. And then on the way down. There we go. Keep going down. So somewhere around 21? Okay, so 21 centimeters plus the one centimeter, and then to get the wavelength um, times four. The next one is gonna be 426. Somewhere around there, 19. Okay, let's do it again. Nineteen? Okay, so nineteen centimeters plus the one centimeter. And the last one is gonna be five hundred twelve. Fifteen and a half? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it again. Fifteen and a half plus the one centimeter, and then to get the wavelength times four, and then multiply each of these by the frequencies and the tuning forks that I used were, as I said throughout the video, two fifty six, three eighty four, four twenty six, and five hundred and twelve. Multiply each by the frequency, each wavelength, and come up with the speed of sound, which overall should be relatively constant uh, because the speed of sound is independent of the frequency but of course this is a measurement so you're still going to come up with some kind of variation okay